another day and another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we are watching the big bang theory this is the 18th episode of the second season hope you guys have been enjoying it so far if you'd like to watch today's full episode it is available for in the link in the description below just click on it put the password in and enjoy so interesting the last episode basically the guys was going on a road trip they was going to a conference and um you know they wanted to take the plane it was three votes to one to take the train and obviously the one had won it was sheldon and to keep the peace they all just took it with him even though it was costlier and it took longer you know his vote seemed to overrule everybody and he'd gone on there and um you know done that trip on there as well he was somebody from the terminator all of them was trying to hit on her obviously get a date it didn't happen it was unsuccessful for them all uh but interestingly talking about dates i'm excited to see what happens with howard and leslie to be honest it seems like she kind of got a little bit jealous a couple of episodes back when she invited him to a wedding and he said that you know he didn't really want to go and then she turned around and she kind of like blackmailed him a little bit and was like oh look well he seems like you're not going on this expedition edition now um do you know what i mean basically we're saying like if you don't come on it then you're not going there you know what i mean it's interesting but i'm excited to see actually what happens to them because who would have thought that howard would be the one firstly anyway out of the whole group to actually be the one to go into a relationship i never expected it myself and i'm actually excited to see how it goes out so i can't wait for it thanks for checking out today's episode hopefully you guys enjoy it if you do please smash like really helps out subscribe if you do and as always let's jump into today's episode <laughs> What's Leonard gonna do? Does he give up the pawn or does he give up the position? <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> Damn it, I slipped. I must forfeit. <laughs> Why? Because it's almost 11 o'clock. So? So Penny has a don't knock on my door before 11 o'clock or I punch you in the throat rule. You know what would be a great idea? We get some girls over here and play laser obstacle strip chess. Believe me, Howard, any girl who would be willing to play that, you don't want to see naked. Penny! 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 This package came while you were at work. Oh, great, my rhinestones, thank you. Excuse me? What? You have to sign this? I was deputized by the United Parcel Service with its final delivery. I now need you to acknowledge receipt of the package so that I'm fully indemnified and no longer liable. Where a physical possession of personal property or chattels is transferred from one person, the bailer, to another person, the yeah, bailer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, look, look. I started a business. And in one week, I made $156. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Sign here. I just don't want to be a waitress for the rest of my life. What do you think? I mean, this could be a business, right? These can you make a day? Mm, about 20. And how much profit do you make per penny blossom? I don't know, like 50 cents? I'm not sure. No, of course you're not. All right. $10 a day times five days a week times 52 weeks a year is $2,600. If you took advantage of modern marketing techniques and you optimized your manufacturing process, you might be able to make this a viable business. And you know about that stuff? It penny. I'm a physicist. <laughs> I have a working knowledge of the entire universe. Who's Radiohead? <laughs> He's good with his switches. He's actually really good with them. I have a working knowledge of the important <laughs> things in the universe. <laughs> Sheldon, hold on. You're asking for my assistance. Yes. And you understand that, that will involve me telling you what to do? I understand. Let's begin with the premise that everything you've done up to this point is wrong. Um, the thing is, all right, it, like she was saying there, Sheldon basically said, like, how much profit do you make per one? And she was saying, don't really know, maybe like 50 cents. But it's like, how many people actually go into a business or do something and they don't actually know the, the output of it? You know what I mean? So I know some people that bake and sell things and i also know people that create like crafts like that and sell things and sometimes they spend way more on materials or, or food products say for a certain thing that they're making or creating or baking and it's like yeah but the extra money that you're putting in the time of effort yeah you might sell that for 100 dollars, but you've put 90 dollars into it where these ones here that you're selling for one dollar you only put in 10 cents into it so it would make sense to go after all the smaller ones because you're making a high percentage markup. You know what I mean? Stop focusing your time on these bigger ones. It's, it's simple things, you know. Many people go into stuff creating and spending and buying and don't really look at literally the profit and loss. That's literally at the end of the day, it's about a profit and loss. What items do you make the return and investment most on? There, done. All right. 
12 minutes and 17 seconds. Uh. Based on your cost of materials and your wholesale selling price, you'll effectively be paying yourself $5.19 a day. Are you familiar with the development that resulted from Honoré Blanc's 1778 use of interchangeable parts? The assembly line, of course. And how are we supposed to set up machines and conveyor belts in my apartment? You're thinking of the moving assembly line. It's an understandable but not excusable mistake. <laughs> I think I bruised the testicle capturing that last pawn. <laughs> I'm a deep water sailor, just come from Hong Kong. Jimmy way, hey, blow the man down. Give me some time to blow the man down. What's going on? I assume you're referring to the sea shanty. That's a rhythmic work song designed to increase productivity. <laughs> Hair accessories, I'm helping her optimize her manufacturing process. Hold on. What are you using as a bonding agent? Hot glue. You're kidding. Any of the cyanoacrylates would do a better job. I fused the bottom layer with silicone RTV to provide a better mounting surface. Intriguing. You could install a small server farm with a static IP in her bedroom. She'll need some kind of industrial cooling system. Of course, but before we set up a marketing and distribution infrastructure, we should finish optimizing the manufacturing process. Just thinking about adding a desiccant like calcium sulfate? Actually, I'm thinking about this one stripper named Vega. Sure, calcium sulfate could work. How about a molecular sieve? Oh. I've got a spaghetti strainer in the kitchen. Hey, uh, we could liberate some microporous charcoal from the chem lab. Oh, great. Yeah, Raj, why don't you and Howard go get the charcoal? Leonard, why don't you start working on some preliminary website designs? I'll make some space in our apartment so we can move the manufacturing process. I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> Technically, she's just hired employees for free, innit? If you think about it, she's just now got a whole squad of people working on her products and it's free of charge. Now, they were saying that if she was doing it, it's only making $5 a day. But, like, if, you know, five heads are working on it together, creating with no actually outgoing additional costs, then you're going to create, you know, basically five times the amount of wealth that you would have had before. Do you know what I mean? To where he was pulling in $5. Now you're pulling in 25, you know what I'm saying, per day. It's interesting and it slowly adds up. But again, you know, it, it, they're talking about their, like, increasing the manufacturing business and, like, the ability to obviously, like, have the product. Again, talking about people that I actually know. Somebody uh, owned a warehouse and when Amazon was first starting out, because Amazon's, I mean, it's a long time, like, 20-odd years, but also it's not really that long in terms of a business, how big it is now. It's, like, literally massive, isn't it? It's one of the biggest in the whole entire world. When he moved over to the UK, they rented this big warehouse uh, from this guy and um, they signed like a 15-year lease towards it. Now, they expanded rapid, Amazon, and it quickly, their, their like business come too big for the warehouse and he wanted to obviously leave. And this guy got them to sign out of their contract and get like the 15 years pretty much like up front. He literally become like a millionaire like overnight. It's crazy, you know. He obviously had this this warehouse for a long time, renting it to different businesses, and then this one come along, decided long lease, expanded very big, had to move out of it because it couldn't hold what their demands was, and basically just paid up the 15 years, and this guy's laughing now, he's got loads of houses, and it's crazy how quick our business can literally upscale. You think sometimes it could be so small, and it can literally get so big. Well, pretty much any way I say that is going to hurt his feelings. <laughs> 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 okay, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Not you, I wasn't asking you. Please, Dateline could use it to attract predators. <laughs> Strongly recommend that we let Leonard go. <laughs> you wanna fire me? What I want is irrelevant. This is Penny's decision. <laughs> Penny? Mrs. Fiona Fondell from Huntsville, Alabama has ordered two. Nope. Camouflaging bald spot. That's primarily a male concern. Perhaps we could expand our market. Doesn't have to be a flower burrow. We had Bluetooth. <gasps> Everything is better with Bluetooth. Get out! <laughs> Who needs a thousand sparkly flower barrettes with rhinestones? The fifth annual East Rutherford, New Jersey Gay, Lesbian, Bisexual, and Transgender Alliance Luau. Wait, why does it say one day rush? Since when do we offer a one day rush? Amazon offers one day rush. Amazon, yeah, I was just talking about it. Books together? Full financial independence or entrepreneurial brilliance and innovation? Yeah, my brilliance and innovation, of course, but still. I just don't see how we can pull this off. Did Davy Crockett quit at the Alamo? Did Jim Bowie? They didn't quit. They were massacred. Your gross receipts on this one order will be over $3,000 for one night's work. You guys get started. <laughs> What are you doing? Going online to buy shoes. You know, if I wanted to spend my Saturday nights doing this, I could have stayed in India. 
Oh. <laughs> we have 128 assorted penny blossoms ready to ship. Oh god, we're never gonna finish in time. Labor force is a living organism that must be carefully nurtured. Any counterproductive grumbling must be skillfully headed off by management. Observe. Hey! Yeah, to these correct though. Let's talk. More work. Chillin. Guns are sold my soul to the company store. Honey, do you want some coffee? No, I don't drink coffee. Oh, come on, but if you don't stay awake, we'll never finish in time. I'm sorry, coffee's out of the question. When I moved to California, I promised my mother that I wouldn't start doing drugs. Uh, Good night. But Sheldon, without your insight and leadership, this entire enterprise will surely fail. You're right, of course. <laughs> Very well. But if this leads to opiates or hallucinogenics, you're going to have to answer to my mother. I think it's all right. So an order of 1,000 for them to do in one day is roughly about 40 an hour, 41 an hour, something like that. Now, split between them, you know, it could be it could, it could be done on a 24-hour period. It actually could be done because there's five of them, isn't there? But, realistically, you're not going to sit there for 24 hours straight doing it. First of all, productivity levels would vastly decrease over a period of time. But it's interesting, though, in it, the power of online marketing as well. You know what I mean? Like, get it out there. Somebody could see it. Somebody far away. Boom. I want that. And get it ordered. You know what I mean? Where, like, before, she was only doing word of mouth. People around. So, again, it's interesting. You know, the internet is a powerful place if you manage to access it in the right locations as per se if it varied even slightly life as we know would not exist <laughs> bam <laughs> entropy reversed and effect preceding cause so you are thinking of a universe it's not expanding from the center no it is retreating we are all essentially alice through the looking glass standing in front of the red queen and we're being offered a cracker to quench our thirst i can't believe we actually did it I'm really grateful for your help and for every dollar i make i'm gonna give you 20 cents that's your entire profit margin. Oh, then never mind. We got an email from the East Rutherford, New Jersey, Gay, Lesbian, Bisexual, and Transgender Alliance. <laughs> they want another thousand penny blossoms. Oh, come on, what about the living organism of the workforce and the American spirit and Jiminy Crockett at the Alamo? <laughs> if we all just pull together, we can do this. Who's with me? Although you may find it hard to believe, we do have lives. Sorry. My apologies to the gay community of East Rutherford, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the car? We're all out. I'll be back before this banana hits the ground. <laughs> Imagine seeing a grown man running down the street doing that. <laughs> Right, the thing is, right, there's a key thing to take here if you're creating your own online business, and that is get your inventory in before you advertise. It really is. You know, there's no point in having this website, this product that's in high demand, and you can't actually supply it, you know, because there's nothing worse than putting an order in and it getting cancelled and it gets negativity towards your business. You know what I mean? If you went out and you went on the, the, the Nike website or you went on to somewhere else and you put your order in and you was waiting for it and then they come back and said, sorry, it's not in stock no more or sorry, we can't supply it. We're going to have to refund you. It's just going to give you a negative experience. And people just probably think, you know, I'm not going to shop there again. I'll look at a different website. Let me go to Adidas, see what they're offering. You know what I'm saying? So like... I actually like the episode and the concept of it and, and what was going on. Uh, it gave some good... Well, it depends how you actually sit there and actually take from the episodes. But, like, production, teamwork, that was good. Advertising, to me, I took from it is uh, another key thing that you could get. And also, like, inventory-wise, if you was obviously deciding to create a business, it's a key example here. Sometimes, you know, you can have too much demand for your, your stock. And uh, it's always good to make it or have enough in the backlog so that you can give it out you know you re realistically what you want is somebody to place an order and you just go yes i've got it there you go you can have it yes i've got it there you go you can have it you don't want to be like oh i've had five things i've got to make the five because then you're always chasing your tail aren't you so it was good this i actually enjoyed the episode it was good teamwork all around collectively okay that's gonna wrap up today's episode thanks so much for checking out our channel today hopefully you guys enjoyed it you know i was thinking there as well is obviously watching this and She's trying to create a business and they was talking about, you know, well, she had berets and she's hit obviously the female market and he was talking about, you know, hitting the male market and expanding and what can they do? And he was like integrating the Bluetooth and 
you know, it got me thinking about the ring doorbell, you know, it's worldwide, everybody knows it, it's probably the most commonly used doorbell around, I know that they have like Google ones now and other different ones are uh, cheaper, but the majority of people will know what a ring doorbell is. Now, interestingly, if you didn't know, that come off, um, is it Shark Tank in the US? In the UK, it's called Dragon's Den. But basically, the guy went in and he pitched his idea to the dragons, to the, obviously, people there. And um, he pitched his business and it got accepted. And it's one of the most successful things that has obviously come out of one of these shows. Now, interestingly, at the time, you're probably thinking, what can you actually do like with this product? How can you expand it? How can you get better? And now, if you look at their website and how far into it they've actually gone they've got home security cameras alarms you know what i mean like they've got indoor cameras uh they've got sensors motions you know what i mean like they've got so much different things that they've slowly but surely expanded and integrated into the business to draw more people in it's not only just known for a doorbell anymore it's a whole security system eco you know what i mean like hide network and it, it's crazy what you can actually do with expansion and minds as well you know she was thinking about doing one thing this way and that way and they come in and it was like look mate if you change this product we've done this we use this glue it could you know speed up with you know um the production time and uh, and maybe reduce costs and make more profits and it's always interesting that you put more minds into it and uh what you can actually get out of it it's it again shows that teamwork's a dream work to be honest you can have the idea but you yourself it's not going to be as good as working collectively in a group so i actually thought the episode was really good it utilised everybody evenly today, which is great. Honestly, it really is. I love it when everybody's integrated into it. I feel like that is one good positive thing we took from this season as well. Everybody has been utilised more. I feel like season one was kind of a lot of Sheldon and Leonard. This season is spread collectively and I'm really enjoying it. Thanks for checking it out. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, please smash like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.